Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and I just want to come on here to say Happy New Year's. It, it, it is a completely brand new year. Um, this year I want to get into um, nothing but positive vibes always and praying for those who are affected by COVID right now. And there's just, it's just been hitting way too close to home for me and um the struggle with with it getting in my head a little bit about like you know if I wake up and have like a raspy voice as you can hear now or if I wake up and have a cough it's just uncertain times right now so my heart goes out for all for everyone who has been going through COVID or recovering who has um COVID and you know I feel like um I feel like a lot of my family members have this on both sides, mine and Joe's um, side of the family and it's just been such a struggle right now and if anything, you know, me talking to those people, I just try to uplift them um, and you know, I and this includes um, my coworkers too because I do work in a healthcare field and um, and you know, I just try my best to try to uplift them um, to, and let them know to like listen to their body. Don't ever think that, you know, oh my goodness, I feel really bad today, but I'm not gonna go in the ER because, you know, I don't wanna spread it or I don't want, um, you know, I don't, I just don't wanna be out in the ER because it's gonna be crazy. Don't think that way. If you guys feel like you need to go to the ER, definitely go there seek medical attention um and keep up to date with your doctor if you can um to let them know how you're feeling um send emails um i'm i'm sure right now i know that there's been a lot of um you know like overwhelming um responsibilities on the doctors but um i just want to tell everyone to just keep safe take care of yourself eat eat as healthy as you can um so that you know this too shall pass it sucks that we have to come into the year 2021 like this, but you know, um, I think if everyone just stays positive and keep their distance and, and wear their mask, um, we will overcome this. It might not be this year, it might not be next year, but we will overcome this. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and um, I'm just praying for everyone out there and I just wanted to get that out there because um, you know, it's kind of affecting me in, a, in in some way and you know, I just want to spread nothing but positivity and um, Share, you know what I've been sharing with everyone that I've been um, You know talking to via text message or the phone or zoom and You know um, if we just all eat healthy and and wash our hands and wear a mask um, I mean, I think that's responsible enough and if we feel if we feel like we're getting sick or if we have a sore throat coming on like just don't go into work you know I, I feel like a lot of employers right now have um, have these COVID hours I think it's like 80 hour COVID hours and then if anything if it's beyond that then obviously you can use your sick hours um, but I think that it I think right now the number one that I want, the number one thing that I do want to put out there for you guys is just to be responsible. Just be responsible and do the right thing, not only for you, but for um, others around you, especially your coworkers, because I feel like we're seeing a lot of our coworkers more than our family um, these days. And I mean, you know, extended family, which, you know, that's this is our normal right now. Um, but yeah, what I did today, oh my goodness, I had a lot going on this morning. I've been up. I've been up pretty early. I had um, some appointments to do a saline sonogram. I know that it has been a long time since I've talked about, um, you know, us proceeding with IVF. Um, we haven't made that decision just yet. Um, I do know that. Um, I don't remember if I've explained it in my past vlogs, but um, what I have going on with myself right now is that um, I have. A, I have a um, septum in my uterus and um, right now like the focus is right now is to um, do the surgery do the outpatient surgery procedure um, where they go in and they actually snip that um, septum in my uterus and then it's a pretty quick procedure yes I'll be put under but um, yeah so this 
this exam today kind of determined how we were going to go about um, if we were going to proceed with this surgery or not. And um, after today's exam and speaking to the doctor, we are going to proceed with this. This has been something that's been on my mind for a while because even um, in the beginning of doing all this IUI slash IUI IVF stuff, um, it has been something that the doctor has been telling me um, like, hey, you have this septum. I mean, we can, you know, tr attempt and try to do all these frozen, tra frozen embryo transfers. Um, but I just want you to know that, you know, this is something that can give us a higher chance of having um, a pregnancy. And then, um, yeah, it's just been something that's on my mind. And I feel like at this point, after my last mis miscarriage, I feel like at this point, like, I just rather do the process of el elimination <laughs> from here. Um, and then that would, of course, um, be the hysteroscopy that my doctor wants me to do. Weird times because, you know, we have to, for any surgical procedure, we have to take like COVID testing. I'm sure I won't be able to drive home that day. One day at a time, um, I'm slowly but surely, surely trying to get there and um, we'll just take it from there because to be honest, um, I really just want to do this procedure and then, you know, just heal from it and try naturally, try naturally. Um, but there's other things that I want to do in the meantime as far as like um, doing acupuncture i think that might help me relax my body a little bit especially for you if we want to try um naturally for a little bit um and when i say a little bit that means I, I would like to at least give it a solid three months of um you know just tr just trying naturally and after the after the surgical procedure so we'll go we'll go from there and we'll see how things go um i feel like i'm in a better headspace um and you know the 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 show the show must go on the show definitely must go on and um i feel like 2021 20, although it's a little different um we i know we're gonna get through through anything that we put in front of us and um yeah so um thank you guys <laughs> So much for listening to my rant I've just been kind of like I think I haven't posted like in a week but um, I just want to um, get out there and keep you guys updated on um, what's to come and what I've been up to this lighting is horrible but who cares Ugh. oh and my face is getting better but we'll see so for the rest of the day, um, I'll probably be working out with my sister. Um, I didn't show you guys, but we ended up getting, um, I ended up buying a set of a barbell and weight set um, to start off with. And then I'm, I have to order a squat rack and some mirrors for my garage. Cause I just, I kind of want to like deck out my little gym area in, in the garage. Um, because my sister and I, we've been we've been really enjoying it, and we've we did a we did a crazy workout yesterday, and I'm like feeling super super sore. Um, but I just want you to know that we are back, and we are back at this workout game again. 2021, new year and new goals for me. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put y'all I'm gonna put y'all through it with me. 2020 was a year of just like shredding and um, losing all the weight that I didn't want and um, eating healthier and I did just that. I'm happy. I'm happy to leave that behind in 2020 but now this year I definitely have different goals that I've um, been trying to conjure up in my mind and that's you know eating more and trying to get a little thicker. I'm gonna bring you guys home with me so see you there. is getting started whether it's a 10 minute workout 
30 an hour as long as you get it by all means it always counts so what's today going to be are you going to wake up or are you going to end your day doesn't matter what part of the day just as long as you get it in trust me your body will thank you later and if you have any questions mind you i'm not certified right now i've just been in this for eight years working my butt off starting off as just a runner played basketball growing up in high school since i was nine then after running five miles a day i transformed into the gym and now we're doing this big with my sister and the biggest key for me is just motivate my family and everyone around you because a healthy mind is a healthy you whether it's cold or it's hot, please clean your gym area and the things that you use every day. I know it might just be you, but you don't know what you'd be carrying. Not saying you got diseases, but we got all got germs, so take care. <laughs> protein and carb goal right now so two scoops of this is 60 grams of protein and then um i eat like a lot of steak i eat a lot of chicken just a lot of high protein high protein things but you always want to end your workout with protein or start it out but this will definitely help you with your muscles and keeping all your gains that are off your 